There are many times in the sciences when it's desirable to not use numbers, but instead treat one variable as though it were x and the other variables as though they were numbers. That's what we're going to do now. z is acting like x. We're going to solve for z and treat n, w, and s as though they were numbers. For that reason, since w and s are multiplied by z, we're going to divide both sides of this equation by w and s. What that will give us on the left <clears throat> is n over w s, and on the right, w over w is 1, s over s is 1, times z. Which means z equals n over w s. And that's what it's all about. We now have created a new formula.